Hey guys, welcome to the 66th C programming tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at another memory function called memcompare and the memcompare function simply allows you to compare two chunks of memory to see whether or not they're equal to one another and that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this tutorial we're just going to be checking to see whether or not these two integer arrays are equal to one another and just make sure that before you start you've included the string header file at the top because the memcompare function just like many of the other memory functions are prototyped inside of this file alright so let's just say that we wanted to compare these two chunks of memory right here well to do that like I said before um, we're going to be using the memcompare function so the memcompare function um, takes three parameters the first two are just pointers to the memory that you want to compare so we want to compare um, the memory at nums1 and uh, nums2 and then the third parameter is just the size of that memory in bytes so we're just going to say size of nums1 and anytime that you've created an array on the stack you can just use the size of operator to get the size of it in bytes but if you would have created this on, a, on the heap so if you would have created it using malloc or something then this won't work so once you've got this all set up right here we're not just going to leave it like this we want to check and see whether or not um, they actually are equal so we're going to have to be using an if statement so we're going to say if and then inside of here we're going to say if it's equal to zero so if memcompare returns zero then that means that these two pieces of memory right here are equal so um, if this returns zero then we know that they're equal so we're just going to go ahead and print out onto the screen um, they're equal and then end the line all right and then if they're not equal then we'll just go ahead and print out that they aren't equal so printf um, they're not equal alright so when we run this we should just get their equal out onto our screen because these two arrays are identical so when we run this we should just get yeah this like I said alright so if we were to change one of these numbers in here, so if I were to make this like a four or something, then obviously these two arrays aren't equal, so we should get they're not equal out onto the screen. And yep, perfect. All right, so let me make this back to a two and I'll change this to a six. So now let's just go and paint and see what's actually going on behind the scenes. So, all right, so here we have our two arrays. We have nums one and nums two and don't worry about where these are exactly in memory uh, we know they're on the stack but that's not really what we're talking about in this tutorial we're talking about comparing memory so I just drew the picture this way so that you could visualize it a little bit better alright so like I said we have nums1 and nums2 and this drawing is in fact parallel with what we have up here so in nums1 we have the numbers 1, 2, 6, and 4 and in nums2 we have 1, 2, 3, 4 yep alright so uh, once again every integer takes up four bytes so this right here is an integer and this is an integer and so on all right but memcompare doesn't know that it compares them byte by byte so it comes right here and just compares this byte to this byte right here if they're the same then it moves on so it just keeps going until it finds um, two bytes that aren't equal so it just keeps going all the way down here until it gets to this six and this three well the six is obviously not equal to the three so what it does is it checks to see if this byte is larger than this byte so if this number is greater than this number then it will return a positive number and if this number is less than this number then it will return a negative number so since the six is greater than the three memcompare should return a positive number so if we just go out right here and print out um, what memcompare returns, uh, and then it should be a positive number. It could be one, it could be 255, we don't know. So we're just gonna say um, printf, and this just returns an int, so modulus i, and then we just wanna print out whatever memcompare returns. So I run this and we should get a positive number out onto the screen. Yep, we get a one. And if we were to make this number less than this number, then we should get a negative number. So if I made this like a zero and run this, then we should get um, a negative number out onto our screen. Yep. All right, so that's pretty much all there is to memcompare. It's pretty simple and it's a very useful 
um, function. Alright, so see you guys.